This is the newly remodeled 2012 Honda Pilot EXL. If you notice, R2. the Honda Pilot is, is a little high off the ground. 2012 remodel. Um, if you have kids, it's definitely um, important to consider uh, Those buying are easy a set of running install. boards. You can buy them and install them yourself. There is uh, there are instructions step by step online. However, if you feel uncomfortable, go to a technician and have them do There's it. There's an EXL model. You definitely expect it to come with a rear lock, which they don't. We don't have on the EXL. That's something we plan on ordering. As you know, that all the EXLs come with 18 inch rim, and you don't. If you live in the city, you definitely want at least a, a, a rear lock in there. Now, let's get to the trunk. Uh, I'll show you another part from last time you didn't get to see. Now this is a There's trunk. There's a compartment in here. If you press you this do down, get this compartment. I'm pretty sure the video um, on the Honda website show this area. So you can tell it's 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 a it's a nice size. Um, you get your jacks in here. And I'm glad that Honda actually put a real jack in that will actually support the SUV. Because some SUVs have the the regular jack, which looks just like this, the old-fashioned ones. But we do have a, a nice one here. And you have a 12 volt here as well in the back. The 2009, 2011 Honda has this exposed, but now they cover it. Uh, the way it's open is you go underneath. There are those two switches you unlock, and then you pull it out. And once you pull it out, it comes out. That's the way it looks. And as you notice, it doesn't come with a harness. I know it's uh, probably due to cost. They want to keep the the new vehicle as uh, low as possible, but you definitely want to uh, want to hitch harness if you're gonna tow. That's needed. It's pretty easy to install too. So again, you should buy that yourself and install it. Read the direction, or if you have really no clue, hire somebody to and do it. And here we are. That's a spare tire. Let's go in the inside. Now Honda did a great job here. Great job remodeling the, the interface. Uh, one thing I would suggest is that uh, to the Honda guys, uh, on the guys following send something one out. Um, yeah, the time here is nice, but actually, I like the calendar. If you have a calendar here, I think it would definitely help. Just the date uh, would make a big difference. The new console here uh, comes with a 2 gig internal memory hard drive, uh, plenty of space to store uh, music, lots of music, and pictures. Um, thing, another thing you can do is that uh, while it is playing, you can record it on your hard drive, which is a good feature. It's a feature you will see sometimes um, in luxury cars. For the ladies out there, the EXL model does come with heated seat, Bluetooth, and cruise control. Now, uh, this space here is pretty large. Uh, your cup holders are also included in there. So, fairly large space. You got two cup and holders all of here, extra space. You can actually put cups here. I've put my uh, cups here and here. Um, so you have plenty of room to store things. That's probably one of the reasons why they felt like they should uh, only include one. Uh, Those are for Mark uh, Honda Pilots. Uh, this is how the key looks like. Um, you have the lock, unlock, and hood, panic button. The way they work is that um, you actually have to hold it, press and hold it for a second or so, um, then uh, then it will take. Let's check the hood out. So notice everything's very clean, neat as expected from a brand new car. This car should last no less than 300,000 miles. Now again, this is a 2012 Honda Pilot. Overall, it's a strong car. Rides quiet, large enough this to go down. a solid me. car. Highly reliable. Great MPG, it's very smooth ride. If you ride Strong. a Honda before, you should know what to expect.